Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. For the past couple days, I've been experimenting with a selective color technique for lifestyle event photos. Now, this isn't something that I've done for a client. It's just something I've been playing around with, and I actually kind of like it, so I thought I'd share it with you today. Now, I'm not going to bury the lead. It has to do with having most of the image in black and white, but the subject in color, and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I've seen that all the time, and it's true. A lot of people do that. But what I'm doing is just slightly different, and I just wanted to show it to you. For example, I have this Adobe stock image of this woman riding a bike. It's a typical lifestyle shot. Before I begin, though, I do want to make more room in my workspace, so I'm going to get rid of the film strip by hitting the F6 key and the left panel by hitting the F7 key so I have a little more room. Now, what I want to do is I need to isolate the subject from the background, so we're going to use masking for that. Now, I did mention that this is an Adobe stock image, so really the editing is done. And that's what I suggest you do. Do most of your editing, then save the selective color toward the end of your workflow. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up masking and we're going to select people. So we have the person right here. Click on that and then you'll have options. What I've been doing is I've been selecting everything except close. So I'm going to select all these options here. So eventually we're just going to have the person. So the person's skin, the person's eyes, the person's hair in color everything else, including their clothing in black and white. And that's, I guess, the little twist. Typically, when you see selective color and you have the subject in color and everything else in black and white, every part of the subject is in color, including their clothing. In this case, it isn't, but it takes a little more work to make this happen. So I have all these things selected. I'm going to create the mask. Now you'll notice that we have a um, pretty good selection here. It has uh, her skin her eyes, her hair. It didn't do her helmet. It didn't do her backpack. That's fine. Now, what we need to do is invert this mask because that's the part that's going to be in color. So we don't want to do any adjustments to it. So what we need to do is go where it says these three dots or where these three dots are and click on it and invert mask one. And then you'll have everything else in color. Now, at this point, you may see some mistakes, like it has a little bit of uh, the red overlay on her neck. So we need to remove that from there. So click subtract and get a brush. And then you could come in with the brush and you have the brush settings over here. Just make sure flow and density are both at 100. And you most often won't have to use auto mask. So you could come in and remove it from her eyes and her teeth. Get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key. The right bracket key will make it larger. So you could remove any of the overlay where it shouldn't be. You can hear mainly her hair. And in here. Come and get her arm over there and get her arm over here. Because all this has to stay in color. Okay. Then we'll come in and we'll go to the color tab and we'll take saturation all the way down. And what I do sometimes too is I'll go to tone and I'll take maybe exposure down a little bit as well. Like that. And so that is the technique. It's as simple as that. And just the little twist is the entire subject isn't in color, just the actual person. So the person's skin, teeth, uh, eyes, hair. Uh, but the clothing is black and white. Now, there's uh, some issues you may run into. What if you have more than one person? Well, it will work on that as well. This is another Adobe stock image, and obviously most of the editing has been done. So at this point, we will go to masking, and we have options to select the people individually or all people. We want to select all people, but we don't want the entire persons. We want facial skin, body skin, eyebrows, lips, teeth, hair, and facial hair, and then create the mask. Now look at the mask and just make sure that it's uh, it looks okay. It seems to look okay. Now you can go over here and click this little invert checkbox here, but you see how that doesn't work right when you do that, when you're doing it this way. That's why you have to go up to these three dots, click there, and then click invert mask one. That way you have everything else um, selected. 
Now, if you see any like issues you need to clean up, like on her wrist, you're going to go to a subtract brush and you could come in here and like remove the overlay from her wrist. Now this, um, this specific image would probably demand more time for me to make sure I clean up the mask properly than I'm going to actually devote uh, to it in this video. Uh, so you'd have to come in and kind of be a little more meticulous than I am being in this video. We don't want any overlay on her lips, so get a bit of a larger brush. It almost always will put an overlay on their lips and a little bit on their eyes. So you need to be aware of that, and sometimes in these dark areas around her chin. Look at here. Has this area, it's kind of tight around her, uh, her earrings here, so I don't know, kind of come in here. Now if you mess up a little bit like I did on that earring right there, just hold the Alt or Option key in. Alt if you have a PC option. If you have a Mac and you'll get a plus brush and you could add to the mask with that. And I'm just going to go very quickly and take the rest of the overlay off the man here. And we'll jump down to color and we'll take saturation down. And you could at times, you know, go to tone here I mentioned and takes like the exposure down here. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of haloing. If that's the case, then what I suggest you do, and you still want it a little darker, is just go close down masking, go to the basic tab, then here take exposure down here, then go back up to masking, right? Add a new mask, create a new mask, create a new person mask, select the people, this time just select all the people, then on this mask, you could bring exposure up for them, and then you'll avoid getting that haloing, and you'll still darken everything else. Now, let's just try one more. This is a, not an Adobe stock image. This is an image I took, and I did editing to it already. You could see I, uh, I adjusted the highlight shadows, whites and blacks, and I did lens blur in the background a little bit, just to blur out the background a little more. So again, we're going to go to masking. We'll let it detect the people. You could try doing subject masks too, but usually uh, then you can't you can't take away the clothing as easily. So you need to do it this way. It's, it's just more efficient. So we're going to select all the people. And then again, we're going to do facial skin, body skin, eyebrows, eye sclera, iris and pupil, lips, teeth, hair, facial, not clothes. Click create mask. Okay, so now at this point, go up to the three dots and invert the mask. Now you need to clean it up. You can see how it's still on their teeth, a little bit on their eyes. So we're going to get a subtract brush. And then we're going to come in and clean it up here. And here. And a little bit on her arm right here. And for the sake of argument, let's just say that's good enough. We'll come in here. Right in here, I missed a big spot right there. So it's not good enough. In this part around his hair. Maybe her face in there a little more. In here. All right. Now let's just say that's good enough. So we're going to go then to the color tab and take saturation all the way down. So an issue you have, uh, you'll have is sometimes around their hair. When this happens, you'll need to get an add brush and click on brush. And then you come in and try to get around their hair edge here. And you're kind of making the edge of their hair black and white, but you won't really notice it. Come in like this, like this. Now, if you need to do other masking, you could do it. So at this point, uh, let's go to tone though, and just while I'm on mask one, and go to tone and take the exposure down a little bit. All right. Now let's just say that you want to whiten their teeth. Well, you could create a new mask, create a people mask. And we'll do both their teeth together. So click on all people, but only click on teeth for the mask. Click create mask. Then go to this drop down, and there's a preset for teeth whitening right here. And you'll let that kick in, and you'll see you whiten their teeth. So that's it. Just something I've been messing around with. Probably something I'll, I'll never use professionally. 
just kind of play around when I feel like playing around with Lightroom and I'm bored. So I'll give it a try. Uh, maybe it's something that you'll uh, utilize as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.